Hello again, a new day, a new project. What I want to try to do today is an external laptop battery. You see I have this uh, cells recovered from a, let's call it electronically dead laptop battery and in between my stuffs I found another one almost the same. Now I'm checking it by the way for capacity and I have my IMAX B6 checking the now discharging the, I also add a 1 amp extra load to make it faster so now it's discharging this element with 1.5 amps that's how I'm gonna have a power supply around 2.5 amps around uh, 21 volts so if we consider 5 cells or let's say 3.8 we have 19 volts so this supplying the laptop for another couple of hours at least so step two now it's uh, checking all the cells for capacity because i have to to have a clear image of uh, how good they are and how to put them together and uh, as soon as i'm gonna have the results i'm gonna start building the back you see it's a very simple schematic uh, five elements in series all I have to say is that uh, each of these elements have the, its own thermic fuse so that's really nice and uh, I'm gonna have a balance port because I want to charge this battery with IMAX and it will be a balance charging the elements ready they've been charged and checked for capacity and um, I have three of these they are almost the same capacity a little bit lower than these ones and now I have to choose let's check for the internal resistance first 73 this one goes out out of question 44.7 I'll take this one oh let me check one of these to see about the internal resistance 46.1 okay that's fine you can see all of these elements they already have this thermic fuse so if something wrong happens the fuse will blow in a split of a second you ask me why i'm not isolating these things with some tape or something not yet because i have to put the balancing cables because we're gonna have a balancing port too and now let's say from this one to this one we should have 20.6 perfect this pack it can be used for my soldering iron so then i can use this on the field i may say consider that we're gonna put them like this number one here it should be plus no okay so the first one here it's orange you see that's why you need to check these things so orange one and that's the plus then here So we start with orange, orange goes to plus. So we need to be really careful because this is plus over here, the first one. With the metal up, this is fine here. And now let's connect the charging ports. And let's try a charge, two amps over voltage yeah of course because now we are on five there we go and we have all the numbers over here this is not good it's maybe something wrong with my imax we have a problem over here so what's wrong there let's check it out yes it's very possible to have a problem with my imax I have to open it up and see what's happening anyway so the project is working 
that's the most important thing I check about this inside my Amex. I don't have another one for now. Well, I can say that that's the final connection. So the battery is working. I have power over here and it's even saying how much. Twenty point seven volts. Beautiful. Let me check my IMAX. Well, it's fine. So everything is fine with the IMAX. I think the problem was with the batteries or the elements. They are not. Uh, they are not properly balanced or something. So. As soon as I'm gonna have some uh, some proper connector over here, I'm gonna redo the test. If you remember my other tutorial about this old IBM, and this one doesn't have any battery, nothing, nothing at all. So we can use this one to start it up. Let's see if it's working. There we go. So I think the power supply it's here somewhere so we can have even multiple cables with multiple shapes or heads now let's check the voltage very important we don't need any mistakes so that should be plus in the middle and we have plus in the middle okay let's see if it's starting Yeah, there we go. So. Yeah. There we are, the laptop is working. So the, uh, the project was good. So, as you see my old IBM, it's working only by this battery over here. That's the wire to the plug over here behind. So the concept it's working that's the most important thing and I'm really happy about that let me turn this off because I want to because I want to check my IMAX to see if it's something wrong with these batteries or it's something wrong with my IMAX But before anything else, let me check the voltages here on each element. Because I'm a little bit concerned about what's happening with my IMAX. So, the easiest way to check the voltages is right here. We have them all right here. Okay. There was a little accident here, so you really be, you really need to be careful with this uh, connection. But let me check, let me check the voltages. In the meantime, 20.1. So we got a plus here. Well, it's looking good. Yeah, that's the laptop connected. Yes. So the voltages are okay here. The project is working. So what it, 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 this is what exactly I was intended to to do and to have, and uh, for now I am okay. Thank you so much. See you soon with some other projects. Don't forget to have fun. Be safe and bye bye.